told him take the wheel, I'm just walking in my purpose on purpose. I got the faith, I know I'm worth it. Protect my inner peace, I'm shaking people really on the same service. It ain't perfected, but it's perfect. Yeah. If it's purpose, I'm for certain there's not a certain person, no burden that can divert it. No envy or greed, this version of me, this journey to please, this heart on my sleeve can easily see. Transparent to see, he called me to leave. But people just leave, refuse to believe. I choose to receive the grace that he gave, embrace the mistakes he made us away. No need to compete, we all finna eat. The table of waste, we save you a plate. So come take a seat. So today with us on Stuart Talk, we're honored to have two special guests with us, two brothers. It's a family affair today on Stuart Talk. Here on Stuart Talk, we walk in our purpose on purpose. Today we have Andrew and Austin Pulowski. How you doing? Good. How are you good? Yeah, fellas, fellas, where did this sports start from y'all? Like, what sport did you guys first start playing and how old was you? Uh, I didn't when my dad like introduced it to me, I was like in my fourth grade and I didn't know if I wanted to play it. So when I like first went out there and stuff, like I didn't really have a motive, but like as I like played more, it, like I started getting like the rhythm of it and then I started liking it more. Yeah, what what uh, what age what age was you when you knew that man, I'm good at this or like man, I can do this? Uh probably like when I was like ten, cause like I like got used to it more my dad. Like as like practice got over and stuff, he he like took me aside and taught me a lot of stuff. So, what about you, Austin? Uh, I really started football uh, when I was about third grade. Um, it was actually a few of my friends that uh, told me I should come out. So I went there just to check it out for a little bit and decided I really liked it. And my dad. I mean, obviously, he's going to say, yeah, because he wanted to play when he was younger. So, yeah, really was something like that. So, with you guys being young, y'all starting and y'all playing a year after year going by, y'all seeing yourself elevate, your dad is behind y'all. Did y'all feel like, man, we got to go and really be some dogs out here because dad behind us and, you know, we, we want to make sure we look cool. Did y'all have that, you know, feeling inside of y'all? Definitely, yeah. 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 What position do both of you guys play? Uh, I play O line and D line. Okay. Um, I play uh quarterback, wide receiver, and free safety. Okay, okay. Both sides though. Um, starting with you, um, Andrew, what would you say to the youth who want to be able to play football and play two positions? How do you handle that? And what would you say to them to allow them to be able to handle it? Uh I would say like it's not hard. To, like, have the mindset that, like, you can play both positions and also, like, for, like, coaches' help and, like, putting in work in the weight room, out on the field, conditioning, all that. So that way you have, like, the endurance to keep playing both sides of the ball and stuff. Yeah. What about you, Austin? How do you handle that? You play positions that you got to think at. Quarterback, mm -hmm. that's a – whoa, you got to be responsible for so much. Free safety, you the last line of defense. So how do you handle playing those two pivotal positions? Uh, I'd probably say more of uh, not be so stressed when you're behind there. I, I know a lot of people are under a lot of pressure, and I get that. But try to, I'd say, be in your own world when talking about it. Yeah. Uh, like, focus – um, really your craft and what you're doing. So, um, and even if it is too much for you, there's always, um, you can talk to your coaches about it. The, there's always different positions that you can focus on and it's not always both sides of the ball. So really I would just say like, focus on what you, what you think you're good at, what you would want to do. Yeah, and there's so many people. It's it's a lot of great athletes that came out of Springfield in that area. Um, even some uh Paige, he went to the NFL. He um yeah. and um even um the receiver for the Broncos back in the day um came from there. So it's a lot of great athletes out there, and even that that program. Um, what does hard work mean for both of y'all? Uh, hard work for me is like um like putting in the work and also like seeing improvements in myself as like the year goes on. So like like I'm putting up numbers in the weight room and stuff. Uh I'm running. I'm doing my best, making sure like the coaches are impressed with me and stuff. And like if I like fall or something, I get right back up and try to prove myself again. Yeah. Uh I'd say uh 
not much of like yeah there is lifting but I'd focus on more hard work in school because coaches always say that academics come first yeah. and focus on those more and then and then after that focusing on the hard work more in the weight room and then conditioning and stuff like that and you're yeah I'd probably say that's that's about it yeah and you guys are a great tight-knit family what does family mean to you and how has their support been pushing you guys and motivating you guys to, up until this point um my family has a like big um impact on me because like after like a football game like I like going to the sideline after it and like by the fence and stuff and them saying good job Andrew and stuff they really like helped me a lot and like seeing like the smile on my dad's face and my papa and Ethan and all that like it really motivated me to keep like like they they have my back no matter what yeah uh the impact on my family will more be like kind of influencing my younger brother and like my younger cousins and stuff like that um I think I do look up to my my older siblings and things like that and what they do uh, for what it even being school, out of school, football, sports, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think I, I do want to influence them a lot. And I do look up to a lot of my my older family. Yeah. And how is the motivation um, and the thoughts and the process you guys have? Um, your brother was involved in the accident, just being there to support him to have faith, know that he's in, you know, God's, he's in God's hands, um, to just do it for him and to, you know, be motivated in that by, you know, not letting it allow you not to be focused, but allow it to be focused and motivation. How are you guys handling and dealing with that? Uh, When he got into the accident, I kind of wasn't, like, in the right place. Like, I didn't want to do sports. But, like, as, like, I saw him get better and stuff, and, like, he came to my first game, uh, look him in the stands and see him and stuff like it almost teared me up and I'm like knew I had to like play my part is for him and stuff yeah uh about the same as Andrew uh when he first got into the accident I was playing middle school football at the time and uh I actually did go have a head-to-head -head and was a little scared about it because TBIs and brain injuries it freaked me out yeah. and um my eighth grade year, halfway through it, it freaked me out to the point where I was like, I don't really want to play. And uh, my older brother actually was the one that told me, he was like, I walked in, told him that, like, I don't know about playing. He was like, you better play. He was like, I play, you you better play. He was like, I, I don't yeah. care about me being hurt. You, I'm not letting you not play. So yeah. I think that's a, a lot of yeah, play play. Yeah, and I'm glad, um, you know, we can be able to talk about this because other kids need to hear it. They're not going through the same thing, but some people lost different people. Like, it was a it was a player from Springfield that got kicked murdered, right? So yeah. a lot of those players going through that different thing or going through different things, but they're saying it could be done. You guys are motivation to the youth. You guys are motivation to someone dealing with that because – now they like, man, the Pulaski brothers could do it. Shoot, I can do it for my brother, whether he's here, whether he ain't my sister or family. So you're giving them insight. You're giving them motivation. Um, So I, I just love that, man. And you guys are going to forever be in my prayers. I'm praying for your brother. You guys, you know, we're going to be supporting y'all as well. So this is a question I've been waiting to ask. How is it going to feel when little bro come up and y'all all three get to play together? How is that going to be? Um. Honestly, I've been I've been waiting for it a lot. Like, like my little brother, like he's a little brother. He's always gonna like talk crap and like say some stuff to me. So like as he's like coming to high school and stuff, I knew I can I could put all my anger on him <laughs> for talking. So I've been waiting. So it's nice. So he's coming up and stuff. Yeah, he's gonna get to be around a little bit. Then gonna say, all right, little brother, you gotta go on here and get away. You've been around too long. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably say more of. Uh, not not so much of bringing anger out on me, but being worried that he's going to bring his anger out on me. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's pretty big. I mean, being an eighth grade, six foot, two hundred pounds, it's a lot of yeah. a lot of weight to come at you. I, don't, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be in front of him. <laughs> um, yeah, well, 
Can both of y'all share a memorable moment or time or a game or a play that y'all had this past season? Um, uh, I have to say one of the practices, um, we were, we were practicing and like, it was not a good practice at all. And like, we like had to like run after and like coach was just telling us like, this is what y'all going to do. No more bad practice and stuff. So like you guys push yourself. So everybody was pushing themselves. They were, all the players were like telling people to like run through the line and stuff. I'm like, push yourself. So I, I got really motivated by that. Cause like, like we stayed as a team, we got like a conditioning done and stuff. And like, after that coach was like really impressed with us. Cause we like, came in together as a team and pushed ourselves. Yeah. Uh, for me, it would probably be <clears throat> during a game, and I was back at free safety. And uh, it would probably be me coming down and hitting someone down the sideline. Mm -hmm. And it, I would say it was a, it, it was a crack. And I heard Matthew, uh, he, he does do water boy for high school a lot. So uh, he heard him running down. He was like, I saw you do that. that <laughs> Like, that was crazy. I saw that, and I was like, yeah, thanks, because I do like to influence him a lot. So that was yeah. that was something to remember. What grade are you guys both in, or what grade y'all going to? Uh, I'm, in, I'm a junior in 11th grade, and I will be an upcoming senior. Okay. Uh, and I'm right behind him, so I'm a sophomore. I will be a junior. So y'all both played varsity last year? Uh, yeah. Let me ask y'all this. This might catch y'all by surprise. What happened when y'all came out of that tunnel – and y'all supposed to bust through the thing, but somebody fell, and now y'all <laughs> like, like, like on the movies. What happened? Uh, yeah, it was one of our it was they, the the cheerleaders. Uh, didn't hold it, so they let go and didn't expect us to run out. So he just hit it and went the the flat or the banner went with him. It was yeah. <laughs> but I was like, oh man, that looked good. like y'all. I was like, I know the opponents. Like man, look at them. Um, y'all know yeah. Griffin. I, um, Griffin. Yeah. Yeah. The running back. Yeah. That's my, um, family. Um, so, you know, I follow him and I had seen him. He was in the middle of it falling too. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? Um, what, um, aspects of y'all game do y'all feel like y'all need to work on? Um, not, not getting down on ourselves from like, we're down like a lot of points and stuff. Like, like say it's like, probably like 20 to like 30 like we get down a lot like we don't we just give up like we just like say like forget it but like we gotta stick like with it because like we could come back and stuff so I feel like like not getting down on ourselves hurts us a lot so we need to like work on that and stuff yeah. uh, I'd say trying not to uh get stressed out as much over a bad play a lot of People do get stressed, and I do see people on my For You page and stuff like that throw their helmets down and get stressed. But um, when I was a freshman, I was the exact same. I got stressed. I would throw my helmet, everything like that. I was, it, But my coach pulled me aside, um, and that really helped me. So I think not getting so stressed when there's not a good play and just go through it. Like, you're always going to have something bad. Just make up for it in the next yeah. So so this is this is an extra question that I just thought of being that where you guys are at. So y'all got Netties, y'all got Mr. G's, and y'all got Mr. Freeze. What's the go-to? Uh Mr. Mr. G's. Mr. G. So so okay, if it's just Mr. G's and Mr. Freeze, y'all going to Mr. G's? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I heard they about to like do the street or uh like expand on it, do some construction. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we I go down it. every every few days and it's always lining down the street is you got to sit in there for about an hour before you can yeah. get your ice cream, but it's always worth it. Yeah. Do they still have a strawberry festival out there? Yeah, yeah. they do. Okay. Yeah. Um, Looking ahead, what goals do y'all have individually and team wise for next season? Um, For me, it'll be uh like, um, like for me, it'd be like, like keeping the line strong and stuff, like being like, a, like all that, and also like being a team, like what I preach a lot, like being a team and stuff, and not picking each other up and stuff, and like encouraging us stuff. Yeah, uh, I'd say more of uh, picking each other up instead of talking down to each other. Uh, it seems like 
uh, a lot of the time you do see people more of talking bad to the players that aren't as good, but I'd say more of try to pick them up more than talk crap to them. Yeah. And uh, like, like Andrew just said, act more of a team. And for me independently, I'd probably say about the same, like have me pick them up because sometimes I do catch myself talking like that, but I don't really mean to. So I would say pick in um, my players up and stuff like that. Yeah, that's dope. Last question. Whatever comes to your heart, Andrew, you go first, then Austin. Speak something positive to the youth. I would say uh, never give up. Keep chasing your goals because, like, you just give up. You're not going to accomplish anything. But, like, if you keep pushing and stuff, you're going to see results and you're going to achieve the goals that you made when you're younger and you're going to get those when you're growing up and stuff. You keep pushing yourself. Yeah. I'd say probably more of um, chase your dream. I see a lot of people thinking, like, when they're younger and in youth league, like, they, their dream is the NFL, but it's so far away that they don't think they'll make it. Yeah. I'd probably say um, just – keep chasing it i mean you're never gonna always you you're never gonna just make it there you always have to work harder and harder so just keep pushing yourself until you make it there um matthew talks a lot about how his dream is going to the nfl and i think that uh him pushing himself uh, as much as he did when he was younger and as much as he did when he was in middle school uh i think that's gonna help him um succeed in more like getting looked at by colleges, offers, stuff like that. He, he's a really hard worker. Yeah. Man, I, I just think we're going to do this again, man. Pre, pre Before the season started, between the season, during the season, we got to get you guys on again. And I thank you all for this, man. This was some great stuff. So I definitely know whoever watches this will be touched, you know. Um, here on Stuart Talk, we walk in our purpose on purpose, and you guys are definitely doing it. Um, keep on being focused. One thing I love about y'all is y'all love each other. Y'all talk team. Y'all don't just talk about individual. I, I don't know if y'all knew this because it's just inside y'all, but I was asking questions about y'all, but y'all was bringing the team into it, so that let me know that, that that's for real. That's what type of player you are. So we spotlight you, Andrew, and Austin for your hard work. Um in the classroom and on the field, you know, for being great players, man. We thank y'all for this time and opportunity. Thank you. Yep, yep.